Hello everyone, welcome to Grace Hollow Ravitry. I'm PJ and I'm going to jump right in to today's episode. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today is eight reasons uh, I think rabbits make an excellent addition to any homestead. Okay, my number one reason I think rabbits are an excellent addition to any homestead or farmstead uh, is because many of us have urban settings. We live inside city limits, we have close neighbors, we have a small amount of space to work in, and rabbits require a small amount of space. They're also very, very quiet. So they're, they're a good option for those urban homesteaders. Okay, the second reason rabbits make an excellent addition to any homestead, many of us have children, small children, uh, even teenagers, uh, Rabbits are easily handled, enough that even a small child can handle a rabbit with proper training of the rabbit and the child. Um, I believe rabbits, uh, as well as any uh, home uh, livestock, uh, can teach children uh, responsibility, uh, how to care for livestock, uh, teaches a child where our food comes in, comes from, and um, for older children, it also for 4-H and FFA can teach your child good showmanship as well. And also for those high school kids, again in the 4-H program and the FFHA programs, uh, their activities and involvement in those programs can earn them scholarships to college. Now, who can't appreciate that? Okay, the third reason I believe rabbits is an excellent addition to a homestead. They are low maintenance and low cost. Um, cages do not cost a whole lot of money. Uh, and the investment of your breeding stock, uh, even good quality breeding stock, isn't going to call you, cost you thousands of dollars like a cow or uh, sometimes even goats and sheep can um, between equipment and milking equipment and you know all this this butchering and uh, you know cows and uh, larger livestock can be very expensive in relationship rabbits are very economical uh, very easily obtained uh, good breeding quality um, isn't going to cost you hundreds and hundreds or thousands of dollars. Uh, so they're, uh, you know, economical. Uh, they're very low maintenance. Uh, they, they have, you know, <laughs> three basic needs. Um, they need clean water, clean fresh water. They need a good quality uh, alfalfa pellet. And they need proper shelter. Uh, the, uh, and a fourth thing they need, they need love and caring. Um, so they're very low maintenance, uh, very uh, inexpensive to get started on. Uh, a 50 pound bag of feed, depends on where you get it, can cost you anywhere from $8 to, um, I think I've seen it as high as maybe $24. Uh, but a 50 pound bag of feed is going to last, let's just say you go with my suggestion of two pairs of rabbits, four rabbits, uh, that's enough to get you started. Four rabbits is going to eat 50 pounds of feed. It's going to take them weeks to eat that much food. <laughs> now, if you have 50 rabbits like me, not so much. But uh, just for homestead um, purposes, a 50 pound bag of feed is going to last you a long time. Another reason, my uh, what am I on? Number number four. Um, I think I skipped garden. Um, Rabbits are good for the garden. Uh, twofold. First of all, rabbits poop a lot. And the poop is good for the garden. Uh, it, it's an excellent source of fertilizer. You can put it directly into the garden. You don't have to compost it. You can, but you don't have to compost it. You can take it right out from under the rabbit, right into the garden, and your bur plants will not burn. And it's a great, great, great fertilizer. One of the best. Um, not only do they provide fertilizer, but they'll eat a lot of your weeds. Now please, do your research and find out what weeds they can have and which ones they cannot before you go crazy with them. Um, but they can eat 
uh, some of your weeds or even some of your uh, leftover vegetables. Uh, they love sweet potatoes and carrot tops. You know, we, we grow carrots, but we don't eat the green tops. Well, the rabbits love them. Turnip greens, if you don't eat turnip greens, and I do. I love turnip greens. I'll, I'll grow turnips. I'll feed the turnips to the rabbits or get rid of them. Most of the time I give them to the neighbor because they love turnips. I don't, but I love turnip greens. Well, the rabbits love turnip greens too. If you're like my neighbor who eats the turnip but won't touch the green, the greens can go to the rabbit. They love them. Uh, the fifth reason I think rabbits are an excellent addition to homesteads is because they're multi-purposes. Um, your breeding stock can be your pet. If you, if you choose to let it be, it can be your pet. Um, it is your a provider for your pr protein source, your meat source. Uh, you, you can also um, use them as a, a supplement of income. Now, they're not going to make you rich. <laughs> Get that thought out of your head right now. Rabbits will not make you rich. You're not going to make a living on them. But they can provide you a little bit of extra income to help feed them. They can probably generate enough income to feed themselves. Uh, and then you have the pouts. Uh, if you have a wool breed, then you have the wool and the fur uh, for a crocheting or uh, knitting or uh, I'm not sure what all those are uh, you can do with that wool, but I know there's a lot of stuff that you can do with that and the pelts. So they are a multi right, so what am I on? Number six, I, I kind of touched on. Um, sixth reason, uh, sixth reason rabbits are an excellent uh, addition to your homestead is they can generate a little bit of income. Uh, if you invest in good breeding quality rabbits and you keep track of your records and you have good producers and you have fast growing kits, you can turn around uh, and what you don't put in your freezer you can turn around and sell as breeding stock uh, to your neighbor or friend or uh, another homesteader that may have shown an interest in raising rabbits. So uh, you can also sell that great fertilizer. What you don't use, you can sell. And again, the, the, the pelts and the wool, um, you can sell those for arts and crafts. Or you can do arts and crafts and sell those arts and crafts. That's another way to generate income. Okay. By using and the seventh, I know, this is way down the line. You, you expect this up at the very top, right? I know. I put it in the order of my priority. The seventh, <coughs> excuse me, the seventh reason rabbits is an excellent source uh, for your homestead is because they're an excellent source of meat, of protein. Uh, a three ounce serving, a serving size is three ounces by the way, uh, provides, uh, it's high in protein, it's low in cholesterol, low in fat, uh, uh, has loaded with vitamins and minerals and um, it, it, it's rich in omega-3 fatty acids. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. Um, it's high in phosphorus, it's high in potassium. Um, oh man, uh, if you're a heart patient, uh, I already mentioned the omega-3 fatty acids. Another thing, uh, rabbit is high in selenium. And if you're a heart patient like me, uh, you need selenium in your diet um, to promote heart health. Uh, so uh, that's another thing for you to consider. I want to read some numbers off to you, but let me get my card. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't memorize these numbers. Before three ounce servings, you have 28 grams of protein. That's high in protein. That's higher than beef, chicken, pork, uh, fish. Uh, 28 grams of protein in three ounces. You have four milligrams of iron, that's, that, that's good, uh, 204 milligrams of phosphorus, 292 milligrams of potassium, 
and it all at 147 calories. Three ounces of meat is 147 calories, guys. Uh, you, you're not going to find much healthier uh, protein source than, than rabbit. It's just no, the eighth food. reason I think uh, rabbit is excellent for the homestead. Um, and this might be outside the box a little bit, but plain and simple. At the end of the day, they're fun. Uh, who doesn't like a cute, cuddly little bunny? I mean, we all do, right? Uh, rabbits are just fun. Uh, and then if you get involved in the rabbit community, uh, other homesteaders um, switching rabbit recipes and uh, culling techniques and just sharing ideas with you know fellow rabbit fanciers, if you will. Um, and then for me, uh, I like to show I do compete uh, I enjoy the competition. I enjoy knowing that I produce a product um, that is in front of the judges and can win against you know a, a, any number of uh, other competitors that's raising the same product. Uh, and I'm not saying I always win, but I can. Once in a blue moon I can win, right? So uh, <laughs> that's fun to me. Being able to know that I'm doing something and I'm doing it well is fun for me. And then the camaraderie uh, between other exhibitors, like I said, uh, the rabbit fancier uh, community, whether it's in the home setting side or if it's in the exhibition side, to me, both of these communities are fun. The people are excellent people and there's no better reason to come together and have a good meal with a friend than a rabbit meal. Down below I'm going to leave some links. One will be to my web page. Uh, there you will find my show schedule. And when I have rabbits available, I also post those on that website. If I happen to be in your area and I have rabbits available, I will be happy to bring them to you free of charge. I'm also going to leave a link to our Facebook fan page down below. That way, if you're interested in getting into rabbits and have questions, uh, I'm available, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that I can. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Grace Hollow Rabbitry. Until we speak again, God bless.